This is the Stepping Razor, the art of war. We're there with you next Thursday. You listen to Dean Fraser. Oh, I up concrete asphalt for sitting with us last I was sitting for us last night. There was an omission here in Oak Gardens where Minion Phillips was sent off. Yes. A lot of people, good vibes. It was nice. Yes, concrete asphalt. I hear you driving home, man. From nice music. You know, the last over there. Yes. There's less murders with the gun era than anything before. But there's another crisis that seems to be coming up that I don't know if the government is able to do anything about this. Unless we start to have relationships in order. And when I say relationships in order, we know, say, man and woman, you can't live together and not have argument. There's no way two people are going to live together and something will come up where them feel like, yeah, what kind of thing that. But it's really how you solve the problem when the problem confronts both of you or the family. That is really the offset. Now, as I say, I don't know if the government can do anything about the, 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 the sudden rise in what we call domestic murders. And as some serious, drastic domestic murders are going on, you talk about man and kill picnic, kill woman and kill himself. You know, like, it, it, it kind of, I don't know what else can happen in Jamaica, Rasta. What, because when you think, say, you close one door, next one open, and it look like you go through the exit, you go inside to the exit, through the exit door. You know, we are come out through the entrance. There is almost like a sudden increase in domestic violence. And the domestic violence, them vicious. That a man kill a woman, kill a picnic, and then commit suicide over one bridge and just drive going and see her. You hear what I want to him Just drive her. And next man, one deacon, supposedly cut off cut the woman and put her in a um, igloo. You know, and you keep hearing the, every week you hear these things. What is happening? Why? People can confront situations and deal with it on a civilized level. We have to reach now murder. I mean, get them to say, as, you, as a man and a woman have something, so the woman have a draw for something and stab him, or the man have a just draw for something and, and shot her, and her. All the police, the, all the police, them get involved in all the killing too. Because up recently, we see a whole heap of police fall for that I'm, I, I, I don't know because look what we need counseling Rasta. we need a, a counselor just like what they might say them need to go check your your, 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 your meter GPS check your meter like this morning me just come in 2 o'clock I'm there they are talking about 3 and then a little more mirror man ring me, when, me, when, me, when me here is the GPS man all right, so them are check meter. People are check meter for this, meter for that. And maybe you need some random counselors. Where just like what you have, where, where them call the Jehovah Witness people, we come in your yard where you know why them come there. You know they say the Jehovah Witness people them always come there, come in your yard in a very weird time. Yeah, when when, when you have fry all something, like you can't let the fry in because. You know, if you go inside door, it have a bun up. I have roast a bread fruit. I have to go turn the bread fruit. As you go to turn the bread fruit, you kick, kick, kick at your door. And you really want to go do something. But, but you know, you have to talk to them. I don't care why not. They always put the nice girl up front, you know. <laughs> they see a man come out, the girl come up front, you know. You have to look for her and say, wow, you know. And they start to tell you that thing. But maybe we need random counseling. In a Jamaica. I don't know if that sound weird. Random counselors. You need some random counselors in a Jamaica. We go door to door, just like the Jehovah Witness them. 
just like the meter man and talk to these man and woman the man and the woman them because the man and the woman thing kind of get away now me no, me no, me no understand why a man would a you say man him woman deal with the next man and go kill her what, what kind of thing that why you kill a woman because she deal with the next man because you're not ready I mean that's a madness something psychologically wrong with you there must be some way to work it out or you just left it's just simple if you don't like all the things go you just left you can't how oh, killing coming at that and not only that the man them kill the picnic them too the man them kill the where the picnic have to do it that was that oh we reach a stage the man because me and I work over the side and I say all right so the crime I go down we see an increase in woman you know so we, we, we don't know if anybody send you the clip where this woman up on the clip I have peer clad chakos and she said oh me don't understand how the man them a kill the woman them so you know you, uh, what you know you see me you know any man we are walk careless at night time you know me have a rape him up like him to what you know you know a picture I can't play for the rain you know what I mean I mean she cuss I mean she, she depend on the load of tip of advice you know say oh she can't take it no more she can't take it no more because she don't understand why the man them a kill the woman them so and she gonna make sure that some of them dead as a matter of fact she gonna rape some man and then kill them so no better no walk kill it you hear that young young no better walk kill it you know because you have, a, you have um, and then go that on vigilante because you can't have this thing a go on so man you can't have the thing a go on so you have to make a man so egotistical and so when I'm call it over jealous and zealous that him, him feel a pain so much that the pain would lead him to death to kill him and then take it upon himself to and kill himself to still all the same you know all the same you know if you read the bible you know you know the bible says God is a jealous God yeah God the bible says God is a jealous God and what God say thou shalt have no other God before me because you say if you got to deal with another God I'm jealous and kill out the whole set of you the family everybody you know the Bible God tell man them Joshua them to go into the city kill all of the man them and take them woman for them for himself for themself yeah man we ask you up your faith right now the Bible man I'm not tell you right now the Bible God say he is a jealous God so if God jealous to the point where he's not going to kill an individual you know but him kill off a whole nation. Then who can forget the story about Pharaoh? When God said, Watch out, he must mark Israel's door and he must bring through the death, the trial, and wipe out all the first man in Egypt. All the first man. I didn't come picnic and him kill Pharaoh picnic to every picnic who did ban the first man of every picnic. That means I'll mute, I feel it. I'm my first born for my mother and my father. So I say, that story there is really a weird story. You know, what you want to know? You see, the Christian who are listening you know, they will justify that, you know. Yeah, they will justify it, say, yes. But you know, see, the people, them, they turn against God. Yeah, they're the same way the woman turn against the man, too. And God wipe out the group of people, them, you know. Wipe out the first born, them. Wipe out the dog, everybody. I think say not even the dog that urinate against the wall shall escape. And then say take the woman them for herself. So even if the woman them not like you, you know, they must come and them dead. So that 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 thing there is what you call an anthropomorphic God. Anthropomorphic means you know you make God have all the attributes of human character. You put human characteristics upon God now. And decide, say, this is how God operates. So when you hear the Bible, say, God is a jealous God. It's not God that said that, you know. It's man that put that in the so called mouth of God to say, God is a jealous God. You know, see? So him jealous, you know, man. Because nature not have no, 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 no what you call intelligence then, to say, rain and fall over there, so. You are keep a show over there, so. So, him now going to make the rain fall over there, so. Him going to make it fall with the farmer there. The farmer no want 
too much sunshine all the while. They want rain. But if the man who promote the show, no want to rain for You understand? But nature no work out here there. Rainfall upon the farmer. Rainfall upon the man who keep the show. When the free and fall, it no fall for one man who'll stop. Unless I'm my own stop. But all right, no, we just to rain at you, no, my own stop. <laughs> we, just, we just get a call, say, a full of rain at you, no, temple hall. I mean, up there, you understand? So, we don't know if my God will work for my plan, them up there, so, but come in and keep a show for my yard. Maybe if you start keep show now, you feel it. You understand? But it's a weird thing. How the thing reach a stage where we can't resolve I don't know if we need random psychiatrists or psychologists to go to people's house. As I say, like how oh, you have meet a man that come here yard for test meet. Or like how oh, you have jovial witnesses that come here yard for counsel you. You know, in the world of God and them things there. Maybe Jamaica really need that. Maybe Jamaica really need random um, counselors for counsel man and woman in a Jamaica. Because too much it go on and it go increase. And it, it, it increase when things, when the economy and the social order get bad. So if the Prime Minister want to live, laugh, and think in his consciousness, figure out why is it that so much killing are going on in Jamaica because it relates to relationship. And then tell me if you do a good work. Because if that is, is, is mounting up so... Go, go, pick it, pick it, pick it. Good afternoon. I am Natalie Campbell with the local and international headlines. 24-year-old Jervil Walker of Mount George District, Yellison Thomas, was stabbed to death by 23-year-old Solon Grinnell, who was later attacked by residents. Reports from the Yellis police said that about 6.30 p.m., Walker and three other relatives were at home when Grinnell, who is said to be of unsound mind, burst open the door and attacked them. The police were summoned and Walker and his relative were assisted to hospital where Walker succumbed while undergoing treatment. Grinnell was later attacked by residents and was beaten to death. An immigration officer has been freed of a rape charge after the Crown offered new evidence against him. 39-year-old Kenton Cena denied committing the offence, stating that the complainant had consented. The allegations were that the complainant accompanied Cena to his home, where she alleged that she was sexually assaulted and reported the matter to the police. Attorney at law Hugh Wildman called for the case to be thrown out, arguing that his client has been attending court for the past three years, while the complainant has not. In news overseas, a university professor has told the U.S. Senate that President Donald Trump's Supreme Court nominee Brent Kavanaugh, or Brett Kavanaugh, sexually assaulted her 36 years ago. Her voice cracking, Christine Blasey Ford says she thought she was going to rape, going to rape, and perhaps accidentally kill her, and she was 100% sure it was him. Judge Kavanaugh, who denies it, is now giving his testimony to convince senators he's innocent. He began his testimony saying he is the victim of a calculated and orchestrated political hit. Finally, police in the Netherlands have arrested seven men over an alleged plot to carry out what they describe as a major terrorist attack involving guns and explosives. Police say the men were trying to source AK-47s, hand grenades and bomb materials to carry out their attack. The men aged between 21 and 34 were arrested on Thursday. Three had been arrested previously for trying to travel abroad to join foreign militants. Prosecutors say the man at the center of the group is a 34-year-old Iraqi origin who was convicted in 2017 for trying to travel to fight for the Islamic State group. They say they were tipped off about the plot in April 2018 by intelligence services who said the main suspect wanted to target a large event in the Netherlands where there would be a lot of victims. Those were the local and international headlines. Major news next at 5.45. From the RFM newsroom, I am Natalie Campbell. Yes, yes. We're coming forward with this subject here, this topic here. Oh, we feel secure. Yes, we feel insecure. We feel secure and we hear the Prime Minister talk about security in the streets. But when we look on the insecurity of men and women in a them house. When no thief now go in there, no gunman now come in a them house, but them slaughter one another in a them own house and also get, it, get the pity them involved with them want to kill the pity them too. You understand? And it a get 
Like every week you hear about it. Every week. Sometimes we are to the church there. Because most Jamaican people profess to be Christian and them believe in a Jesus and believe in a God and them something there. But if it's not one thing, it's the next. Or, 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 it, or it come like, I mean, I blame the church, but yes, I blame the church. Because even the, the infirm of a dead thing, and the church put that in a way. Yeah, as simple as they take it, the infirm of a dead thing is church. Because them say, see I'm blind here and deaf. As a Christian people me usually hear say that. See I'm blind here and deaf. You know, no, no, business with nobody business. So now you call you, you, Tracy Chapman and sing a tune about when a man and a woman they behind the walls, of course. And you call the police, them send off for them business. And that happened in a Jamaica. When a man and a woman have an argument and the woman go report it, the police them say, no, but me, what me feel about that? The turn of work out on the thing, man, and then look more both here, the woman dead. You understand? And when I ask the police must go to town council, but police should be able to prevent certain things from reaching that level if a woman come report. But then the woman feel for go report it to because the woman and the man, the, the, the woman, man and the police go to drink liquor every Sunday. And, and him go say, why well, your wife come along and the children go tell me, say, you beat her, you know. And even I mind him now, tell the police that to them, say, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like to come and watch me and I when I go home. I'm going to chop up her, <laughs> one seat, one seat, you understand? And him really go do it. You don't know where to kick off him, you know. It's got something click in your head, click in your head, you know. And it reached a stage the way it reached killing. Why the hell it have to reach killing? See, I tell me, say, I just saw it, I go now, like, a man and a woman have an argument, I just hear death. It can't work that way there. It can't work that way there. The church needs to do something. Since the church control most of the people them thinking in Jamaica, the church needs to do something about it because they must send out the people them out there. A man walk going to a church and kill a, kill, kill, a, kill, a, kill a person. Then now we hear all the bishop them, you know how much, how much one thousand and add no, 300, 300 and bishop is under investigation for abusing 1,000 and odd children in the past 70 years in the church, especially the Roman Catholic Church. How it reached that level there where a guy has shift ship passed from here to the house and them know where I go on, you know. Them know where I go on and them hide the, 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 same, the same thing until something was out of it, because now the Pope and the investigation too. The, they must say the Pope I cover up certain things and they might investigate the Pope. We have a little clip here. It, 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 it reached a stage you now, it reached a stage where they them are, they, they, they are question the different people them who is accused, the different bishop them who is accused of these pedophile reasoning, pedophile thinking. And, and listen to this. Listen to this. That's a serious thing. You know it was a crime for an adult to engage in sex with a kid. Uh, I'm not sure whether I knew it was a crime or not. I understand today it's a crime. When did you first discern that it was a crime for an adult to engage in sex with a kid? I don't remember. When did you first discern that it was a crime for a priest to engage in sex with a kid? Who... Uh, um, he had under his control. Um, I don't remember that either. Do you have any doubt in your mind that you... Archbishop... All right, right away this Archbishop of Alzheimer's. Right away, him under questioning... And him don't remember, no, him, don't ever, him don't ever know if sex with a little picnic is a crime. Play, play, play it again, play it again. Him don't ever know if sex is a, is a crime with a little picnic. Him say, him don't remember that. Him don't know when, when it was, when it started to be a crime. This is a man of the cloth. <laughs> I don't know what kind of cloth he means. This is a man of the cloth that said these things in a restaurant. Eh? It's weird. Really, really weird. This is what I'm not sure whether I knew it was a crime or not. I understand today it's a crime. When did you first discern that it was a crime for an adult 
to engage in sex with a kid? I don't remember. When did you first discern that it was a crime for a priest to engage in sex with a kid who uh, um, he had under his control? Um, I don't remember that either. All right, we don't have you no more. We don't have you no more. But I don't remember nothing. Lotly, I'm going to know if it's a crime. I'm going to know when it will come and see him for, for have sex. We'll pick that out of something. Watch out, man. This thing I get topsy turvy in the world, I know. May I tell you, you know, we get topsy turvy. Because even the people where you're in trust, which, hey, if Rasta said they might keep some summer school, you know, people now go out and carry the people to go to hit a Rasta. Because the Rasta look, the Rasta don't look like so. <laughs> May I tell you, we are come back to this, you know. Why you listen up to the special patra? It's up next. Believe you me. But we could go and talk to the patra. Watch out. You see, if Rasta ever decides to never work, all right, it, 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 it go on. Make it go on. Make it go on. Tell you. The, 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 the clip we just played a while ago with this archbishop who's them under investigation and him is in a, a, a inquiry that take place and I'm ask him this question and I say, when the man asked him, so when did did you realize that? He, he, he never realized uh, having sex with little children was not acceptable. And that's him saying, no. He said, he never, when he don't know when it become like unlawful, when it become like a sin. And this man is like, a, if you see the man, you know, the man is a big man, you know, like, he could have reached nearly 80. He would look like him about eight years old. And him did it from so long. I mean, evil discernment, common sense, would have known, say, a big man, you know, so, hey, them people are wicked, you know, Rasta. Them wicked, you know. I see certain things where we start to hold on and now, as, as, as ordinary, it, 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 it's, it's really weird, you know. It's strange, you know. May I tell you, you know, some things where they make we start accept as normal, you know. We get caught in this abnormality to the point you now where things look all right. Mr. Uman now, me I look for my Mr. Uman in a dance with Ava and them Panty and the Brazier. What next them going to wear now? Belt? They want us to go and dance with a belt. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's weird. And you say you're talking to them to you know. You have some youth that say, boy, I moved that, so the thing I go know, you know, and, ooh, uh, uh, young people, days now, and young people, time. Then, then, she had to me, so me so old now, that me can't accept, say, it's all right for a woman to dance in a panty and brassier. Eh? Panty and brassier, Rasta? I mean, when you look at them, a dance on the street, you know, what them call them thing, carnival. The woman them on the carnival road. Man, so what we are them people uh, around my life and around me pick the life, Rasta. You look at them in like the carnival thing, you know what I mean? All right, that, granted, we're not pick one against the other. Dance hall is in a, a, a enclosed space most of the time. Carnival is in open air. That means that you can't stop Pick me from where I cross it, so. You understand? You can't stop Christian from God, this is so. It's, it's, it's an open space. The things that when me see the woman, them, we see them have a costume, a dancing on the road. You tell me now, say, me too old to accept that? The more you accept that as something like rational behavior, like, why most of them days when people used to wear this and we had done and you know, see the whole thing change. Me must accept a woman I got dance in a panty and brassy wrestler and become part of that thinking. Them catch way. Them catch way. Trust me, them catch way. Them catch way when no one accept it. Them catch way. And the establishment, the establishment, when I'm going to talk about, we feel, me no feel no youth, you know. Me no feel no you, me not take no responsibility to say, boy, right now, the elder them feel you, me never feel no youth. Because when me look on who responsible right now in the corporate places, it's some like 20 year old, 30 year old people around the thing. 
Them people that were keep all them carnival and all them thing and nickel and this and that. I know some 50 are the old people or some 30 are the old. Yes, yes. I show you attack Shamara, all young, young involved in it too. Young, young involved in the bully pa madness. A man who may accept it. Then it to me not accept it now, me, me back a time. In which age, which age you know with society? It is normal. Because this is not a cultural manifestation of nothing. It's something where creep up and way. It's not like you live in a like amongst the, the Bushmen, them of South, Southern Africa, in a Namibia and them places where you know it, it, it not come nowhere. This is where you, you live in a society where alright, this is how it's supposed to go. But now it's switching and we want to tell you know, that this is this is how it was. This is how it's supposed to go now. So me have to ask now, when a woman go and dance the commotion, she does wear a belt. And not even a broad belt neither. You should wear one of them little red, gold and green belt where the rest of them usually wear first time. Well, if a rest of them wear them belt, I get me call them just one of them pants up off of them and I need them whatsoever, whatsoever. The thing, the thing get disgusting, rest of them. It get a weird. I'm not Christian. I'm not Christian. I'm not believing in the Christian thinking. But I know say, when you have a certain thinking, it do have nothing to do with a religious perspective. Because something soon said, why this not real? It's not, it not natural. It's not, it not, it not normal. It's abnormality we are follow. Abnormal. When a woman, when a woman take out of that thing and put in her bottom for make it, when she Vivid, it, it's like a bubble like jello. It's madness. Why we must accept that as something like me, an old man, I'm enough to accept this thing. Where, where I say? <laughs> she soon start coming and looks at you, you know. She soon start coming and looks at you, and I tell me, yeah, but you see, me too, that's what we used to do, you know, but now we're different, you know, that's how we are, you know. I saw them go on, you know. Yeah, I saw them go on. They might be asked here and there, people dead here where them come from India. To them. And it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. Black woman, normal. It's a normal thing. You can't talk to them about it. Them, arra them, them, them so arrogant about it. That them not see nothing wrong with it. I'm saying the youth them a bleach, you know. The youth them a bleach, them not see nothing wrong with it. It's a normal thing. How it become normal if you have somebody bleach out them skin, so? How it become normal? How it become normal if you have decent, nice looking black woman? Going out so go buy a wig. I'm putting her head, and it, it's supposed to be the most beautiful thing she see by herself. She's looking at the mirror to see herself, and she say, "Oh yeah, she look different now." And this, that, that, and it, it's a normal thing. So abnormality become normal, you know. Like one man say, "Why well, it's bad? It mean really good." It's weird, you know. It's so abnormal it is. That you said bad mean good no. So when a man say, boy, I'm believing in the devil, I'm gonna really guard the matter about. Because of course we can since we are carve up the thing, and we can SMH and all these things now, and not no scale out the whole of the world, but everybody's supposed to know what SMH means now. You know, see it's L O L. You know, everybody's supposed to know it's a normal thing that you know. Cause you know what right what you know, you know, like S O L S L O L. You know, D O L. You know what I mean? Everything it, it just is it's abnormal. I become normal, you know. So look more from this now. You have to find something extraordinary for do for make the last thing when you do look like it's a normal thing. So the more we go, you know, it's, 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 it's the less normal we get in, and the more abnormal. But the abnormal become normal. It's mad. It's mad. It's, we're getting sick. We're mad. You know, you didn't actually tell you say. 10 years from now, 30% of the population is the psychological variable. <laughs> it's true. Jamaican people sick. It's sick. It's terrible. Anyway, believe in the only one little thing still. Because most of my life live already. Most of my life live already. Me are 60, me are 60 years old. Me not expect to live 60 years again. You understand? But you have people out there where them not reach my age yet. I mean, I tell you, say, you know, them say, 
Them say the majority of people who is teenager now, now go live for 40. How them get that? How them get that? How them come to that conclusion and say the majority of youth where is teenager now, now go live for 40. What will happen in the next 20 years that going to cause them not to be here? Who have planned these things? It's here because something called secret organization. Just like how when we realize eh, since um and this is a question I ask everybody and I don't get no answer. No. How is it that has Donald Trump become president? So you know you're not more about ISIL. You know you're not beheading. You know you're not people that call up on jihad and them thing there and a bomb up France and a blow up place in a Belgium. You know, you're not like them things that are going again. And over two years now, you, 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 you know, you're that, you know. Before Obama, before when name Trump, a period that we are here now, now Trump did it, so now we are wondering, oh, 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 what, what is the relationship between what was happening and now? Oh, you don't hear nothing more about, about ISIL. What, what, ISIL just disappeared off of the map of the world, so? I tell them they create so much havoc in our mind, our consciousness. Well, I mean, I tell you, it's it, 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 it rough. Click it, click it. Yes, this is the stepping razor. The art of war. You know, the subject kind of tickly. I want to say so much comments are coming from out there. So it looks like we touched some farm of vein from some people out there. Anyway, we want to switch the subject a little. And after this, we're going to take some phone call. Because we really want to get the pose of the people them from these thinking we are going as it really is so another aspect of crime and violence in Jamaica. Okay, so growers choice. Here is organic fertilizer that is on six sea breeze avenue, Kingston two. You know, we have heard of a lot of organic fertilizer going around for really for really move away. These fertilizers that the government is bringing into Jamaica for pies now, not only the plant them, but the livestock and the people. One cannot forget just that idea. Monsanto was sued for two hundred and a million dollars because of their perpetuation of poison, and we have it in here. We have it. In Jamaica, and we don't hear the government touch that point in no time at all. We don't hear the Minister of Agriculture mention nothing as it relates to that landmark thing against Monsanto as it relates to the 200 million dollar worth of to the man who said Monsanto um, thinks them give him cancer and the, 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 the court rule against Monsanto. One would expect that the government would really look into these things. Just like how them come up now with the plastic bag thing. If you ban plastic bag in Jamaica, which I agree with, what happened to the, the poisons that is being, being um, imported into Ireland, giving the farmer, because the food is the core of the people. The food, what you eat, is the core of the people. This is what make the people them move or don't move. And if you have poison feeding the people them, how can you say that things is going good in the country when you can stop it and you can avoid it? So here comes a group of people who have created a what they call an organic fertilizer. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, where is it? Mr. Gonzalez from Spain. Give me the group. You, eh? Good afternoon, everyone. Is this Mr. Gonzalez? Yes, I am. Okay, export area manager of Kemetic Group. Correct. Hello, everyone. Hello, Jamaica. Where are you from? From Spain. You are from Spain? Yeah, from Spain. Okay, how long have you been in Jamaica? Excuse me, sir? How long have you been in Jamaica? Yeah, uh, we arrived two days ago and we are going to stay until 
Saturday, there is a colleague of mine, Aitor Rubio, agronomist engineer, who is also in the team this, these days. All right, so let me ask you now, what is this product that you're talking about? Um, Avery's organic fertilizer. Explain to me what is it and where it's coming from and who is producing it. Okay, our fertilizers are organic with plant origin and we offer a range of biostimulants, biopesticides and probiotics for soil with the same efficacy than the synthetic molecules of chemistry and with, with seed residues. Where, where was it manufactured? In Spain. They are manufactured in southeast Spain, in an area that is called Almeria. It's a, it's a focus of agribusiness, yeah. worldwide, well known. All right, so exp explain to me, what is this product made up of? What, what, what is it that is making this product? So the products are made from vegetal origin, and the products uh, increase the yield, and make the uh, plant more strength and more balanced. No, what, what is it made of? Made up of? What is the? Oh, okay, it depends on the product. Good question, sir. Thank you very much. So the biostimulants came from bacterial fermentation. That is the way that we obtain the products, and we obtain different ingredients, very important for the plants. We obtain organic material, fulvic acid. We obtain nitrogen. We obtain amino acids, and we obtain other other uh, vitamins and natural phytohormones. This is a biostimulant. Also, we have biopesticides and are made from botanical extracts mainly, and we have probiotics that are made of microorganisms. We use the fourth health technology. We use four sources of organic, uh, uh, four sources of organic raw material yeah. that, is a, that are green chemistry, microalgae, microorganisms and botanical extracts. All right, is this, this, this product, is it approved by the, the, the government, the, 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 the Spanish government, the German government, the Norwegian government? Is this approved thing or just started to be on the market? Yeah, one of our products, Microgel, we bought the patent from the Spanish government and we are here on the island with a product based on mycorrhiza but formulated in lab conditions. And high concentrated. No, what I'm trying to find out if, is this pro product being used in Europe at the moment, or is it just you, you, okay? Okay, you are okay, going to use question. it in your Jamaica as a test test run. Good question, sir. Products are sold in all American uh, continent, Europe, Asia, and, and Africa, and Oceania. Also, we are selling our products in around seventy countries. Okay, okay. How long ago now? How long now since you've been doing that? Yeah. How long have you been selling it in the countries? Yeah, I'm uh, the responsibility of Central America and Cali, and also I live with Poland, Germany, and Cyprus. Yeah. No, I'm saying how long, how long have you been selling it to America ah. and across to Europe? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Sorry for, for because... No, it's okay. it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, there is no see here. I have, uh, a, I have a company, problem with English, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The company uh, is selling the products since the year 2007. And personally, I'm selling the product from 2015. Okay, 15, 16, 17, yeah, two years and a half. Okay, okay. So where is it? Where, where, where are you going to set up shop in Jamaica? Where are you going to sell these things in Jamaica? Yeah, you have to contact Growers Choice, uh, Organic Fertilizers, Mr. Prince Avery. Okay. And it has gone through the rigorous um, trials in Jamaica already. People have been... Yeah, yeah. We have many customers here. It's my third time on the island. Yes. And the first travel was for identifying uh, the correct channel. And uh, that year we were here with commercial activity with the minister of the Astro in a, in a reception on the Pegasus. And it's good come this year to see how the business increased. And we were these days with farmers, and they are very happy with the pros. Yes. And we are uh, providing tools for Jamaican farmers, and we are very proud and happy about it. Is it liquid or solid? Which one? Is it liquid? Yeah. It's liquid. Exactly. Okay. Liquid uh, organic fertilizers. 
And what is it? What what the suggested retail price? What uh, have you got a suggested retail price? Excuse me. Have you got a suggested retail price for the fertilizer? Talking about prices, you have to contact directly to to Mister Avery. So okay, okay, you, and that's at the um, phone number. That's at Seabreeze Avenue, Kingston Two. Yeah. Well, the telephone the number, number is eight eight seven six nine three zero six zero six seven. Correct, and the yes. email is sales dot growers choice at gmail dot com. Okay, okay. I would Thank like you. a test run. I don't know if you have a test run around the earth. I'll see if he's having Okay, that. yeah, sure. I, I, I would love to get a test run. One of those um, gallon bottles that I see here. Can I come around there for a test run? Yes. Definitely, yes. All right, well, you can leave my name to someone around there. My name is Muta Baruka. Ah, nice. Good. Yes, you can leave my name around there and tell them that Muta Baruka will be coming there to get a gallon to test it. Please, yes. Because I don't trust the government. Okay. Okay. So when you when I test it for myself, I can come back on the radio and say, yeah, this thing actually worked. Yes. Okay. So where, where are you living? Where are you living? You're living in Jamaica or you're going between here and Spain? No, no, no. We're on the road uh, to visit some customers. And we are going from the... From one part to the other to the island, yeah. Okay. All right. Make I ask you a question. In yeah. in, in in um in America. It, yes. When it is sold in America. Okay, we are who are the people basically. No, wait. Who are the people in America that buy this fertilizer? Who are the people? Yeah, oh, 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 yes. yeah. Is it for small farmers? It is big artists. Okay, okay. Very good question. So, our products can be used in all of crops, in all of soil condition and weather condition. So, our customers are big companies, medium-sized farms, small uh, farms. So, we offer our successful products to everyone. All right. So, if if you buy a gallon of this fertilizer, how far? What? How much? How much square feet are my are for us acres or hectares? It will it will carry you or if, a, a gallon of it. Yeah. No. All right. Let me explain it again. If ah, how yeah. far can a gallon yeah, yeah, of yeah, this yeah, fertilizer yeah, carry you? Already. We have different bottle size for for our fertilizers. From one liter bottle to twenty liter. Thank you for the question. Very good question, sir. All right. Sorry, how, I, how far the twenty liter carry you? How far? How far? How, how much? How much land space can you use it on the twenty liter? The largest is twenty liter. Yes. All right. Let me ask again. If if somebody must can interpret it for your own day, you know. I hear you talk to somebody around there. I'm asking you if the twenty liters. How much land? Can you use it? Ah, how to... much land? Depends ah. on the crop and depends on the theoretical space. So the dose are adapted to acres, so it depends on the stress of the plant, depends on the crop. Okay, okay. But with 20 liters, you have product to see the results for sure. Okay, okay. Well, I, 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 I'm I, going to really check it out. Grow as choice, I risk organic fertilizer. And that's at 6 Seabreeze Avenue, Kingston 2. Correct. Okay, okay. Well, I hope... Well, I don't know. Yeah, give me the phone number. It's 876-930-6067. That is the phone number right. to call. Okay, Mr. Gonzalez. It's a pleasure to be with all of you. And I apologize because we are on the road and it's a little bit noisy. It's a pleasure to share... With you and all the island, our products and technologies of Kimite Group, with yeah. our partner, Growers Choice, every organic fertilizer. Okay, and you must remember to tell them that a strange-looking purse will come around there for a, a, a liter. Yes, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Please, we'll be an honor. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, good afternoon. Yes, that was Mr. Gonzalez, Export Area Manager for Kimite Group. 
And this is a organic fertilizer that originate in Spain and it is void of all the chemicals that we are now eating out against. As we say, we have not heard the government of Jamaica give their perspective on, on this Monsanto ruling. And it is very important that the government do that, the Minister of Agriculture, because the product that is in question is used in Jamaica. Rather sell it. And we rather not use it. We need to find out from the government of Jamaica if this something is ruled against in them fatherland, America, where them look up to. Them look up to America. And this ruling was ruled against in America. Oh, we don't hear no argument about it in Jamaica. Why is it that them are sidestepping it? Because we know, we know Jamaicans who is representative of Monsanto here in Jamaica. We talk about Jamaica, we talk about foreigner. We talk about Jamaican who is representing Monsanto in Jamaica. So is it that because they are representative in high places, why the government refuse, refuse, to protect the Jamaican farmer and on another level, the consumer of these products by way of food. Is it because they have connections with Monsanto? Why we're not hearing them say nothing about it? It's a serious thing because you have another set of lawsuit coming right behind this brethren we get when we, we, we them come with 200 million dollars another set of lawsuit coming from Monsanto and it's just that day now them start to label GMO things in America they was totally against labeling it totally against labeling it now them have to do it because the, the, the action and the agitator and the teacher of the people them must be heard. And we are called upon the government of Jamaica. Because everybody is affected by it. It's not just like, you know, gunman come up with this, but him now come around this. Everybody have a kitchen, and everybody go to market or supermarket, go buy food. Everybody buy mutton, steak, or goat, whatsoever. Farm this and farm that, vegetables and all them things. And they rather, rather, who supply these things in Jamaica, is giving the farmers them to spray upon the plant them that me and you can't eat it and then we sick and down when it's one sick way. And we go and the doctor and the doctor say, I don't know nothing wrong to you. That your belly are hurting or rotting and you're tell about nothing wrong with me. And them can't figure out is why they're pumping all sorts of things and I tell them I'm going to take this and to get other things worse. It's like them give you something for something and then the something react to that something and then you get something else. We need to hear from the government as it relates to Monsanto, Rada, and the consistent importing of these poison that them put in upon the food them to sell to Jamaican people and giving the livestock to make people kill it for go to the people them. As we speak of environmental control and pollution, well, that is part of it. It's not just plastic bag. And it's not just sugar. It's a, it's a holistic vibration of going so. Holistic. Everything incorporates everything. So if you get rid of one thing, that just like how we get rid of it, less shooting and more chopping up. It's still murder. So it, 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 pick it. Your electricity bill is determined by the amount of energy you use. Did you know that appliances used for heating and cooling consume the most energy? The time by JPS is... Yeah, the time is... 340, that's stepping razor, the art of war. We want to make the people them know, say, last week we had a wonderful time down at the, the pier. And for those of you who thought that 
the pier was under the zone of special operation. We want you to know that it is outside of the bounds. So it was business as usual last, last week. Everything was normal where we were, except for those who decide say, because them here after that, them not coming down there. So. Because them don't want to get entangled with it. There was no entanglement. The road was packed with cars. People was bustling, upsling, in glorious, in we had our party said we we played until one o'clock. That is what we had advertised from five to one. And everybody was having a grand time. And this week we have a grand time again. So for those of you who don't know, if you look on the boundaries, the boundaries talk about Orange Street going west. We are east of Orange Street. You understand? And furthermore, I would hope that one would be feeling safe if them know say police would be around the area. Because really and truly, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. When I heard of it is when I was going down there. I heard of the, 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 the curfew when I was going down there. And when I go down there, I said, but wait, I wish part of the curfew there. Everybody I asked by the, the road, they might say, which curfew? No curfew there. I said, I run the them there. I run at and I told them to the, the, the curfew there. So, we just want the people them know, say, Rhythm Sunday is still in effect, and we give thanks. Okay, where were they now? Phone call. Eh? Okay, all right. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. You are the, the Nigerian High Commissioner? Yes, I am. Okay. I, I don't meet I, I don't meet you yet, you know. <laughs> I always so we need know that to I arrange to eh? meet. Eh? So we need to arrange to meet. Yes, because I, I, I'm always in contact with the High Commissioners, you know. When I go into Nigeria, I tell them and they always look out for me when I'm down there, you know. Okay. 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 So what is what is happening here now? Explain. Ah, uh, Nigeria will be 58 on Monday. Okay, okay. Yes, that's, the, that's, the, that's October the 1st. October 1st, uh, it's our national day. Uh, we're 58, and we are thanking God for keeping us together yes. uh, as one, and um, also thanking God for all the blessings He's given us throughout the years and in the 58 years that we've been together and we are continue to ask for His blessing. Okay, so what will be happening in Jamaica to, to make the people, Jamaicans, know that this is happening? Is there any celebration um, taking place? Yeah, I just have a simple reception at the Nigerian house, uh, but it's strictly by invitation. Okay. Uh, but later in the year, we're going to have Nigerian movies. You're going to have a Nigerian movie night? Yes. You know, Nigeria seems to be putting on more movies than Hollywood. I know. Um, I so we need, to, we need to showcase what we have. And Jamaican and people start, to, be, Jamaica start to love the Nigerian movies. They're on the street selling like a cake. Okay. I don't know if you know that. Which one? The, the Nigerian movies are being sold in the streets of Jamaica like a cake. Yes. They have been sold, yes. yes, and I'm hoping to even make it uh, more popular. Yes, 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 yes. So, oh, 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 how is it that um, Hollywood seem to be back at back when it come on to? I don't want to have the Nigerian industry, movie industry, and the Indian in movie industry seem to be we are ahead of um, of, of Hollywood. Would you well, say that? I don't know the statistics, but um, I I do know that uh, the Nollywood, the Nigerian movie industry, has gotten a lot of government support okay. now, okay. unlike in the past. So that also is helping. And uh, with the Nigerian critics, I guess everybody is pushing hard to push and get uh, good results. Yes, 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 yes. And you, th you think there will be any... Uh, in the movie, the movie um, nights that you are planning, will you be inviting any of the, the Nigerian actors to Jamaica so that 
the Jamaican people can familiarize themselves with, with the actors? Yes, I'm working with the Nigerian Censor Board, and so they will be bringing, I don't know how many, but uh, they will be bringing a few and uh, to come for the for the screening and for us to see for them to actually see that the jamaicans are into the nigerian uh, movie because yes. it's one thing for me to explain Say to it, my yes, people yes, yes. that yes jamaicans are into it is for them to come and see so we're going to have movies and uh, we will have one or two actor actress come over yeah you know, I, I was in the JPS paying a bill and I in the line and a lady come to me just because I have the clothes I want and she asked me if I'm from Nigeria. And I said, no. She said, oh, you look like the person them where you know, the movies them where I watch. And I said, that <laughs> so which really, movie have you watched? I've got a lot of, I've, I know some of the actors them. I've gone to Nigeria and I met some of them. I don't remember their name. I don't remember the name of the movies, but okay. I have watched them and I've seen some of the, the what them call soap and, and other TV channels, you know. Yeah, but we have a lot of new ones now that yeah. uh, the quality is, and the content is a par with, yeah. with uh, Hollywood movies. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of Hollywood actors yeah. that are collaborating with Nigerian Hollywood actors. Oh, yes. So there's a lot of collaboration going on. And yeah. I do believe... Uh, uh, there's a movie, A Trip to Jamaica, that was actually uh, casted here in Jamaica. Mm. But for some reason, the movie is not popular in Jamaica, but rather it's popular in uh, Nigeria. Yes, yes. So we are hoping to, to, to get more collaborations with yeah. Jamaica. Well, it, it sounds like a good idea. Where, 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 you have any idea yet where will this festival be keeping? Uh, the, the movie screening will be done in Kingston. And where? In Kingston, we are working uh, at the venue. With the, You're working on the venue. The investment of the West Indies. Okay, okay. okay. And uh, we are working with them to see how we screen. And it's going yeah. to be what? It's going to be a week of movies or just a weekend or what? Or, or work it? Uh, we're still working out the modalities. Okay. Uh, what's going to be the best fit? We're okay. still working it out. All right, so outside can... of the movies, what is the visibility of the, the, the celebration that way? We can say, all right, we're going to there, we're going to that. Is there anything like that happening next week? No, no, there's nothing like that uh, happening. We still, I am just barely a year uh, in Jamaica, so we're still trying to get our foot into yeah, a few yeah, things yeah, that yeah. we've done. But in the new year, yeah. definitely, uh, we will have a lot of activity. Yeah. Okay, well, and, and how long will you be here? My tour of duty is a minimum of three years, and uh, it all depends on what the Nigerian government can fit. It could be more than three years, but yes, regularly yes. it's a three-year tour of duty. But since I've been here, I have focused so much on uh, culture, yes. uh, on uh, looking at the similarities, because we have the same ancestral roots, so yes, we need definitely. to yes. make our culture even stronger by our bond. And uh, seeing how we can collaborate in different ways. And, but one other thing I'm really hoping that um, in the new year I can kick up and have some positive is on trade. To okay. see where we can have trade going on between Nigeria and Jamaica. There's a, there's a long running argument about um, airline moving between the Caribbean and, and Nigeria, given that Nigeria is on the West Coast, is about 5,000. Sorry, about. Five hours to get there, where we have to go to England. Mm, it's more hours. than five hours, eh? uh, but it's not it's not as long as uh, what's happening now. Yeah, well, we take nine hours to go to England and then have to go down back again to, to Nigeria. You know, it's like uh, if you're going to Nigeria straight, I believe it will not be up to nine hours. I'm looking at about seven, eight. Yes. Uh, with a direct flight because I recall in 2014, no, 2012, our president was here and he had a direct route. And for my record, it wasn't up to nine hours. No, it definitely so not nine hours. It was starting yes. from Barbados. The, the, the flight, <laughs> they started one from Barbados. Okay, they, they from Barbados. Last, you know, but we, we, we see that it, it, it's, it's an easier move. You know, you can go from here to Brazil, Brazil to Nigeria, and it still don't take you the time where it take it if you go through England to come back round, you know? 
Yeah, I was home in June and I had a discussion with the tourism board and we are looking at chartered flights, just like uh, the kind of tourism flights you okay. have to Montego Bay. Yeah, to go so to Germany. we are exploring that. Yeah, uh, yeah. At the moment, I don't have the final yeah. uh, on that, but that could be the first and easier way to yeah. start the flight going yeah. Uh, if we have a couple of flights coming in, because uh, Jamaica has become a destination wedding for Nigerians. Definitely, definitely. So a lot of Nigerians go to Jamaica, uh, sorry, to Montego, Montego yeah. Bay, Ocho Rios yeah. to get married. So yeah. that alone is uh, there is uh, already a market yeah. for Jamaica. And you have other countries like Senegal and Gambia around that era where we would fly to Nigeria. You know, if they're coming to Jamaica. They yes, that is Nigeria. true. We have um, a lot of connecting flights uh, from w within the West African yeah, zone, yeah, yeah. especially uh, with Arik. Yes. We have a, a local uh, airline, private, privately owned Arik, and there is also Aero Contractor. They fly to some of the West African West Africa, countries. Yeah, so they yeah. can bring in the passengers from other African countries. They go to Ghana, they go to Cameroon, yes. so they can bring them down to Nigeria, and then, and then you come take them here. To yes. Yeah, to Jamaica, that's possible. But yes. well, we just need to work out the fine line China, and yes. let's see if we can start the chartered flight. Okay. Well, we, we, we wish happy birthday, you know, the first of October, Nigeria. You know, and we hope that you are here for a good little while that we can express our desire to do something as it relates to Nigeria and Jamaica, you know. Very important, yes. Yeah, man. It so is. give thanks. It is, my, it is my wish. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. That is, that is a for years, that's a contention. Flights leaving from the Caribbean to Africa. Instead of going all the way, taking nine hours to go to, to, to England and then coming back down to Nigeria or West, West Africa. You know, it's really weird that we need to do that. You know, and you have, you have chartered flights going to Russia from, 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 um, from Montego Bay. Germany, Russia, Alan, you have chartered flight every week going to Russia from Montego Bay, you know. So, I don't know. I mean, as I said, this has been something that has been there for years. Why is it that we have to go through America for reach Africa? I go to England where you have to get visa for go to Africa, you know, so... That is something that needs to be explored. This is the stepping razor, the art of war. The weird thing about these statistics, what I'm giving the idea is that the more before the state of emergency, well, I don't know I said it before the state of emergency, but last year they got more guns and arrested more people than this year with the with the state of emergency all over the place. They had more arrests last year and more guns but the crime gone down so my question is if them get more if them capture more people last year and more guns last year where's the bad man them and where are the guns that should be they should be getting more guns now and more, more arrests, considering the magnitude of the, of the whole heap of state of emergencies. One would have expected that you'd, you'd capture more, you'd have more arrests and you'd have more guns found. So if you have less gun founds under all these states of emergency and less people arrested, but the crime gone down. Apparently the man them just wait out the time. Yeah, it look like that the man do them wait out the time. They mask the gun, the man wait out the time. You know, so really that is something we're supposed to check. I hope they I hope the police them have figured it out. You know, I not no big I can't figure out things as I use my common sense and I say if you did collect more guns last year and arrest more people last year and the crime gone long this year, well, 
why you're not having more arrests this year with the state of emergency? And why you're not finding more guns this year with some state of emergency? It makes no logical sense. We have to figure it out. We have to figure it out. No, we are partially living in a police state. Anyway, blessed. Yeah. Yeah, it's an attack. Hello? Hello? Ah, Andrea? How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Okay, you're on the radio. I must tell you that. Good to know. Good afternoon, Jamaica. All right. I call you because of your initiative downtown with the, you know, people you may start talking about downtown because I'm downtown now. You know what I mean? Mm. Really. And I know I've been, I've been downtown for years, but this is a new development that takes place with, with, with what I am doing here. But I know that you have been moving in that direction with your art expression downtown. You can yes, give the people yeah. a little synopsis of what is this art expression downtown involved? Well, What's it? Well, Kingston Creative, we believe that Kingston is the creative capital of the Caribbean. We have a big vision for creative for Kingston. We believe that Jamaica, Jamaicans are creative people yes. and that Kingston deserves to be more than what it is now. So we want to use art to transform and regenerate downtown Kingston. Mm. And so we have been working to uplift creative entrepreneurs, mm. so people who are makers, dancers, filmmakers, podcasters, as well as your visual artists and so yeah. forth, and of course the musicians. So what we've been doing, we started off with a series of networking meetups. So every last Friday, anybody who is a creative from downtown or anywhere can come to 107 Harbor Street because we have a gathering where you can get in a room with other creatives as mm. well as just a range of people who want to see downtown. That is the place at the corner of Church Street? That is Church Street and Harbor oh, Street, okay. and it's um, the old Swiss stores building. Oh, yes, yes, There's yes. There's a restaurant inside called F&B Downtown. Okay. And so inside that restaurant, they stay open late, and we just mingle, and, you know, just with people who want to see downtown uplifted. Yes. Exchange ideas, talk about different projects, and so it's a way for creators to network. Mm -hmm. So that was the first thing, the meetup. The second thing is an art walk. So an no, art no, walk before we go to the art walk. A, a, a couple of weeks ago, you had a, 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 a kind of, on water lane, you had this, I don't know if I call it a craft fear or an art fear. Right. What, 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 that, what? Is, that's, that that's called Market Street. So you, you're Market calling Street. water lane Market Street now? On water lane, yes. On water lane. And we plan to grow it, to go all the way along water lane so you can just walk and shop and listen to music. It's an open air market yes. with different vinyl DJs and other kind of DJs as well. And it's really that we're building a commercial platform where creatives can make money. All right. We the, want the, to the, showcase the, those products. The craft thing is between Church Street and Wheat Street. So it's between on water, on water lane. lane, between King Street and Church Street. Oh, that's, that's a long part. That's a long space. Yes, yeah, so it's right behind F&B downtown. Yeah, that's a very long space between Church Street and King Street, yes. Yeah, so it's just right behind the restaurant is where yes. there is, you, you will see it, you can't miss it. No, I know it's where, I'm just trying to make the people aware of where it is. Right. Yeah, so it's yes. behind, it's, 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 you have water lane, you have water lane, then um, Arbor Street. Right. And so then you have no Church Street. Church Street. Street. Is yeah. On. yeah, so Church parallel, Street. Parallel to Harbor Street is Water Lane. Yes, yes, the yes. The first lane, if you're going north towards Parade. Yes. First lane, right. And so you really, if you go to church and water lane, you yeah. cannot miss it. Okay, okay. And that is where anybody who is a maker, if you make pottery, if you make crafts, if you paint pictures, you can come, you can rent a table, and we will bring the audience to you. So that's a market where you can showcase a different product. Okay. So that's called Market Street. Right. And then, and then the thing now is the art walk. So the art walk, it's a walking city art tour. So... A group of people will meet at 11 o'clock on every last Sunday. And basically you go from location to location. At the first location, you might have somebody singing and there might be an exhibition. Then you might go to the National Gallery of Jamaica because we're building on their last Sundays. Mm. So they have always had now this last Sundays thing where it's free to the public and you can come in and there's entertainment and you can look at the art and enjoy the space and the gallery. And so we're just building on that by adding other locations. So... 
we partnered with JCDC one, one month and we went to the, the, uh, the conference center for a lovely exhibition. Okay. We partnered with Studio 174. A gallery over on um, Port Royal Street there. Yeah, I know, I know and, that uh, gallery. I was there when yeah, it opened. So, so we're partnering with a lot of them and we just go around. And this month now is very exciting because we're going to Trenchtown. Because I don't know if you know that since in the last couple of years, they started a ceramics center. Mm. So everybody knows Trenchtown Culture Yard. Yes. And across the road from it is Trenchtown Reading Center. Yes. But there's a new Trenchtown Art Center. And it's really unbelievable what they're doing in there. There's a guy called Garfield who's leading it, and he's doing amazing pottery. And, of course, training people and mm-hmm. so forth. So mm-hmm. that's our first stop, and then we're going to walk down to Culture Yard, stop at the Reading Center. And so the art walk is going a little bit further this, this month, so it's going to be exciting. All right, so the art walk is starting from where? From, from the Trench Town? No, it starts from F&B. Okay, so you, and Church Street. Right, so you come down to um, 107 Harbor Street, which is Church and Harbor. Yes. And we start there, and uh, we're going to be seeing an exhibition by Karen Booker, the design mm. diva. And then we're going to go on a bus to Trenchtown, because it's a little bit too far to walk. And you'll be seeing the artist Neil Ray and Capo Fitz, as okay. well as exploring the art center, the reading center, and the Trenchtown Culture Yard. Okay. Then we head back to the National Gallery of Jamaica, where at 1.30 p.m. there'll be Quilt, the performing arts company. They're really fantastic. And there's a new exhibition opening at the National Gallery of Jamaica called Beyond Fashion. Yes. And there's a community children's art exhibition that was put on by Multicare Foundation. So yes. it's a last chance to see that before they take it down. So children from the community have created art, and we're going to visit that also. Um, so, so then, wait, 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 hold on. The, yes. the work, what? What is it that the artists are doing when they are walking? No, the crowd is walking and oh. the artists are at each stop. Oh, the, oh like, okay, I get you, I get you, I get you, right. I get you. Oh, right. so you have different points where the arts are, but the crowd is, is walking to the art gallery. To the yes, gallery. they have like 100 people on the road walking down, you know, just walking down the okay, street. Okay, okay, I understand, I understand, and, I understand. Yeah, and it's, it's a nice vibe, very yeah. nice vibe. And um, this month is special, too, because I don't know if you're aware, it's Design Week, Jamaica Design Week, um, This is put on by the Jamaica Observer. Mm. And so we know that downtown has some fantastic heritage and design that needs to be preserved. Mm. And so we're going to be doing an architectural walk as well, where the architect Patrick Stanigal is going to be pointing out all the beautiful hidden treasures downtown in terms of design. So we're going to be doing that historic architectural yeah. walk at 245. So okay. that's something very special as well. And of course, everything is free. Then we head back to F&B, so it's about 4 p.m. now, and we have Auntie Marsha, the storyteller, and in the yard, Bingistra Movement, I don't know if, and Mystic Revelation of Rastafari. Yes. Earl Chinna Smith, yeah, man. His, um, yeah. his group, yeah. that does the groundation on a yeah. Wednesday, they'll be performing by Market Street. And that, that's when... All of this is Sunday. So that's at 4 p.m. You're going to see Earl Chinna Smith and the Inner DR Dingistra Movement. Okay. And Revelation of Rastafari. So I will on be the there. street, they will set up and have open air drumming and people can dance. I will be there. I definitely will be there, there that one. Yes. I, will be there. I don't know if I'll be walking, but I will be there. <laughs> okay. But then you forget the best part now. No. Uh. The official Kingston Creative After Party. <laughs> I know it's you forgetting it, not me. I, I remember it. <laughs> Rhythm Sundays, Rhythm Sundays, yeah. and the brand new Victoria Pier, yes. Ocean 7 Sky Bar, hosted by none other than Muta Well, Brooker I'm glad himself. that you included it in, it, in, in the whole process, you know, because we you, know on the block. You are the program, of course, you're the after party, you're the official after party, okay, so we're looking forward okay. to that. And that's yeah. at 5 o'clock till whatsoever. One till, till 1 a.m. or yes. until you say one, when. Yes, yes, There's yes. one more thing as well. Um... Herbie Miller also has, because so much stuff is happening now. Yes, he has a, yes. Herbie, Herbie Miller has his um, at the reggae museum. sound system Sundays. At yeah. the music museum, yeah. he has sound system Sundays. And this Sunday, he is highlighting the music of Prince Buster. Prince Buster, so, definitely. Yeah. And I went to that last month, and it's like, you know, step back in time, and yeah. it's an old I was there, system. too. I was there. I was there. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice vibe. So there's two things you can choose from after the artwork is finished yes. to entertain yourself. Yes, okay. Well, we're looking so forward to it. nice again. 
We're looking forward to it. Give thanks. Definitely. Hope to see everybody out on Sunday. And wait, tell me, by the way, mm. you, you, how do how you think the, 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 the curfew will affect this thing here now? The SOE, the state of emergency? Yes. I mean, I experienced a state of emergency when it was down at... Um, All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me come back to you. Hold on, we have the cash part. Listen up. Top draw letters. Pick two, pick three, pick four. Drive time draws up next. We was talking to sister named Andrea, and we was talking about artwork downtown Kingston. In downtown, nice again. You still there, Andrea? Yes, still there. Yeah, I know your ears must have hurt you now. <laughs> <laughs> Without we That's there. all right. It's all right. We're going to talk about last week, them call a state of emergency. A lot of people who would come downtown, especially to our function, um, never come, even though the party was wonderful, but them say, because them here the state of emergency, them things say it would affect it. Mm -hmm. And knowing that, them never come. Um, we and that's, that's that, natural. Yeah, yeah, of course it's natural. So last week when I got on there, it was business as usual. We're trying to make right. people understand that it's business as usual in the era where we is, where you are also. Yes, that's the first thing, is that where we're doing the art walk, so 107 Harbor Street, Harbor and Church, it's not in the zone. That's no. the first thing. Yes. The second thing to think about is they're looking for guns, gangs, ammunition. They're not looking for art lovers. They're not looking for ordinary citizens. Yes. So there should be nothing to hamper you, hinder you from doing your regular business. Yes, yes. Um, then the third thing is that, you know, when you had the state of emergency in St. James, Thanks the airport kept landing a hundred flights a day. You know, there is no, there is no change in yeah, the operation. The, the, the Ips Strip was, was active and live too. Of course, the shops were open, the hotels were open, sandals didn't close. Yes. So, you know, everything is open for business as normal. I checked in with our city center police station, you know, going on top of them, spoken with the mail, and they, everybody is fully endorsing. That What's downtown happening? Of still course. open for business. And I've driven through West Kingston myself. Yeah. Just to just to see. Yeah. And you know, so there's there's no issue and it's business as usual. They're having the art walk on the market street and we hope to see everybody yeah. down there. We just want to emphasize to the people then, that the 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 zone that they're talking about is is Orange Street going west. Yes. We are we are Orange Street going east. Right. So we are not in the zone as as all they would call it the zone. You know, it's it's, it's something to. So that's why we were able to really have business as usual last but, week. But even in the zone, um, Trenchtown Culture Yard has it's still made open. a statement, yes. and their statement says, and I'm just paraphrasing, they're saying that you know the SOE makes Trenchtown even safer. You have more eyes and ears on the ground. Yes. So. It is, it is business as usual, and it's even safer to come into Trenchtown now. And they're open for business. Yeah. The culture yard is running. Yeah. Tours are continuing. Yeah. And so they don't want to get people, give people the impression yeah, that, that they are shut down. The, yeah, it, it's not the message absolute, is yeah. business as usual. Please come and visit them. They, they really don't want it to affect yeah, the good work the that the community is doing, you know? Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, we give thanks, we give thanks, hoping to see you. And as you yes, mentioned, definitely. as you mentioned, Urban Miller, I am going to be there too. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to be so much. So how, how are you going to be in two places? Musa? No, how you know the beautiful work? thing about it? All of these things is in walking distance. <laughs> okay, okay. That's All beautiful. Right. All of them well, is I will in see you Irby, there. Wait, Irby is at the museum, like, right at the water lane. Yes. You are on water lane also. Yes. Over the other side. Mm -hmm. Um, China will be near to the, the museum. He will be nearer to our side. Yeah, and 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 and, and we are two two roads down from two from from down. you. Yes. Yeah. Um, we, we have um Arbor Street, Port Royal Street, and and the Boulevard. So it, it, most of us is walking distance. I don't say going walk every one of them, but it's in walking distance. Well, just please be there when, when I show up so I can hear the music, please. No, no, that's in the evening, man. You talk about evening, I talk about another day. Okay, okay. No, okay, I'm not talking right. about it. Oh, I will be there in the evening, I'm talking about it another day. Herbie's thing starts at 5. So, sound system Sunday starts at 5 p.m. Oh, I thought it's 3 o'clock, Herbie thing did start. No, I think he's starting at 5. Oh, I didn't know. I, I, could, I last... could be mistaken, but I know he's in the evening. Oh, I thought he said he's he was in the early evening. I'm going to call him and ask him. I'm going to call him and ask him. Yeah. And, and, and China, them will be down there too, you know. 
they'll be at us at about four. Yes. Yeah, man, everything, right. everything nice. Yeah, man, so tell everybody, to, you know, just come down. Well, you just enjoy. tell everybody a while ago, you just tell everybody. <laughs> you just tell everybody. Hi, everybody, just come down and enjoy yourself on Sunday. Sunday's downtown. All right, give thanks. All right. Yeah, man, this is the stepping razor. This is the stepping razor, the art of war. This is an important announcement from the National Water Commission. The National Water Commission is advising that as part of its ongoing non-revenue water reduction program, it will be conducting system maintenance works in several sections of the corporate area. These works will result in water supply disruptions today, Thursday, September the 27th. 2018 from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Friday, September the 28th, 2018. Areas affected will include Garden Town, Ligony, Hope Pastures, Mona, Hope and Old Hope Road, Long Mountain, Barbican, several sections of New Kingston, Crossroads, Mountain View, several sections of Vineyard Town and Downtown Kingston, Arbor View, Palisade Strip, and other surrounding areas. Customers are urged to store water for use during this period. That was an important announcement from the National Water Commission. Didn't I read this last week? And the week before, same week. We get to understand, say, the man, the man, the man, the man, um, we are dig up the road, them. A bus pipe with the, the big, heavy equipment, them. And all flow I get, wires I get damaged, water supply I get damaged. So I don't know if this is part of that thing. I don't know if them never have a blueprint of the city to know which part of the pipe them they are them something there. But this is a third world country. <laughs> this is a third world country. I can't tell them put third world. Okay. We want to tell you that we're going into the last lap, you know, you know. The last lap we are going on. Yes. That's Maxi Priest out of England. You know, we get a bit of my clean out of England. Okay, here we go now. Here we go. But I'm going to tell you, say, Marcia Griffiths and Judy Moore are going to sound sweet. See, I'm like all the used to sound first time. I'm going to tell you, no man. Last time, I stand up and listen to the two man, they might sing, man. I'm going to tell you, man. It's like some. Yes, yeah, I can't explain how them sound. But the two of them together. Oh gosh, man. Oh gosh, I tell you, I love it. So I say, give thanks to the moment, give thanks to Young Young, give thanks to Shamara, give thanks to Princess Black outside. We're going to come forward on Wednesday. Cutting edge from 10 to 2. And we're there with you on Thursdays from 2 to 5, 4 to 5. So I'm gone, we're gone, we're gone, you right out of me hungry. Yes, me hungry. You're going good with the police of them. Trust me. Please of them are shot. Okay. Here we go. Round and half now.